Good evening guys and happy Saturday. Our latest will be about the story of Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Bester as well as Minister Peggy Tele. Let's follow up on that. Earlier today, Police Minister Peggy Tele and Justice Minister Ronald Lamula briefed the media on the arrest of uh, Tabo Bester and Dr. Nandipa. They were caught in Tanzania as they were heading to Kenyan border to cross to other countries. According to information revealed by the authorities, they were assisted by a Mozambican national and they were found in possession of several passports with different names. They further said none of those passports was stamped. So, according to the authorities, no one knows exactly when they left SA and how they traveled to Tanzania or how did they arrive there. Surprisingly, Peggy Kele also revealed that Tabo Bester was the third body claimed by Dr. Nandipa. The fact that she's been claiming bodies made authorities to suspect foul play and insisted on DNA tests when she claimed the body of Tabo Bester. Listen to the minister in the next slide, then we'll continue with this discussion. Allocation of cover up allocation. How can they approve? They have not been proven. Either those that make allocation, uh, that police. Uh, are, are involved in this one. So that will be part of investigation. And those that have information, they must come with uh, that information. But police on this one, uh, I don't think that they did any form of, of, of cover up. There, there is a story here uh, that uh, the, the, the question of DNA was done by the police. The, the story again goes to say the honorable daughter, the good daughter, claimed three dead bodies, father, brother, and customary, customary husband. This happened to be customary husband. And the question to her was, so many bodies are claiming, Let's see this one before you go and, uh, uh, and bury it or burn it and all that. So it was discovered there, uh, this information of... Uh, so I don't think then they would have done cover-up when they've gone that far uh, to, 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 to find that information even before it uh, was buried as a customary, as a customary husband. I, I, I think the, the, the police on this one, if they have, we will uh, fight. Now the question is, who are the people she's been claiming from the state mock? Did she cremate all of them? What evidence has been hidden with those uh, dead bodies? Whose idea was it to cremate instead of burying them? It seems like there are series of crimes that these people committed, but soon we'll find out. Please remember to leave your comments down below and let us know of your take regarding this. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye.